Now, if you follow my channel, you know I recently reviewed the ThinkPad X12 Detachable from Lenovo, a two-in-one detachable that is a Surface Pro 7 or 7 Plus competitor. Well, I wanted to see what the Latitude line from Dell would have to offer, and I just took delivery of the Dell Latitude 7320 Detachable. It's also a two-in-one Surface Pro 7 Plus competitor that brings a lot to the table. You got a gorgeous 13-inch Full HD Plus display, you got the three to two aspect ratio, a slim all metal design, and also has a keyboard cover that has a pen very similar to the Surface Pro X. It stores and charges in the keyboard cover. We're gonna get into that and more in this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Dell Latitude 7320 Detachable. Coming up. Now, while we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit was provided by Dell. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing starts at $15.59 US. I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, inside the box, of course, you get the unit itself. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But you also get a 60-watt, very compact AC adapter with a USB-C cable. And you get the extension cord along with some warranty and setup information. Now, holding this unit for the first time, this thin and light detachable has a really nice two-tone finish. It's an all-metal design that is very thin and light at only 1.7 pounds or 0.789 kilograms for the detachable alone. But once you add the keyboard cover and the pen, it adds a little bit more weight. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Now the keyboard cover and the pen are separate purchases and Dell was kind enough to send that along for me to check out to show you guys just exactly what you get. Now this keyboard cover is very similar to the Surface Pro X keyboard which has a place to store and charge the pen. Now the pen is a separate purchase. They sent one over as well as I mentioned. Now the pen looks like a carpenter's pen just like the Surface Pro X. It has that flat bottom to it. It also is rechargeable and stores on that keyboard cover. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uses the Wacom AES technology which is great for taking notes, sketching out artwork. We'll go over that as well also in this video and in the full review. You get a tip remover tool and some extra tips for the pen. Now you'll notice it has some really sturdy hinges and that metal kickstand really gives you a nice viewing angle each and every time. So far, looking pretty good. Now the connection to the keyboard cover is very sturdy, so you won't be losing it anytime soon. Really rock solid in that regard. On the left side, you get your Kensington lock port, a Thunderbolt 4 port that does data charge, display out. You can run multiple 4K monitors as well as one 8K monitor. You have a speaker grill, your volume up and down, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack. On the right side, you get a second Thunderbolt 4 port that does data charge, display out as well, and a second speaker grill. On the top is your power button, and on the back is your fingerprint scanner. Okay, let's talk about what I believe is the star of the show, and that would be its display. And what we're looking at here is a 13-inch Full HD Plus display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1280. And yes, that means this has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, the same as a Surface Pro 7 Plus. It has really deep blacks, good white points, excellent contrast, and a low Delta E score of 1.65, meaning this is a color accurate display. It also covers the color gamut really well, 98% sRGB, 76% Adobe RGB, 79% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut, and 71% NTSC, making this a great choice for content creators to do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. Now this has a low blue light filter which helps reduce eye strain and that's of course always good. 
And this is a super low power display, which means this is going to be very efficient when it comes to battery life. We'll get into that in the full review, but we'll talk about that in a little bit as well, because I'm seeing really good battery life. Now, as far as the display itself, it's a really bright display, which Dell claims will get up to 500 nits. And I actually measured 492 nits, making this a really good choice for both indoor and outdoor use. Now, it is a somewhat glossy display, but I didn't notice a lot of glare or reflections. The viewing angles also are very good. And I also love the fact that it has slimmer bezels than the Surface Pro 7 Plus, giving it a sleek and modern look. Now, this also has pen support. And as I mentioned earlier, the pen is a separate purchase, which uses the Wacom AES technology, stores and charges in the keyboard cover, as I mentioned. And it is great for taking notes, sketching out artwork. I will do a more in-depth look at it in the full review. But so far, it's working pretty well. Now, it is shaped like a carpenter's pen with a flat side, very much like the Surface Pro X. And it actually really is good. I like the convenience factor of having the pen with you all the time. So this is the Dell Latitude 7320 detachable here for 2021, a 1080p webcam. Uh, actually pretty good. Let me know what you think about the video quality. Let me know what you think about the audio quality of the built-in mics. I am curious to know. We've actually been seeing some much better webcams. Uh, we saw with the HP Elite Dragonfly Max, and now we have a nice webcam here with the Dell Latitude 7320 detachable. Again, let me know what you think about it in that comment section below. So this is the rear-facing camera, and as you can see, my dog Max, and you can see the background of my studio here. I have a lot more work to do in the studio, of course, uh, but this is the rear-facing camera, and you can see all the boxes in the back over there, uh, the rear-facing camera on this uh, two-in-one. So let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Now that rear camera is an eight megapixel world facing camera. And I would say it's decent for a two in one. I wouldn't use it as your main camera, but it is actually pretty handy to have it in a pinch. So uh, kudos to that. And for those wondering, here it is next to one of its competitors, the Lenovo ThinkPad X12 detachable, which I recently took a look at. So I'll leave a link in the description below for those that didn't check it out. A really nice detachable, especially if you're a ThinkPad fan. Now, I do prefer the keyboard cover on the ThinkPad. It's a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more rigid and gives you more of that ThinkPad like keyboard experience over the one you get with the Dell. Although the one with the Dell is more akin to the one you get with the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and 7 Plus, but I do prefer the keyboard on that x12 detachable and speaking of that keyboard cover really decent key travel good tactile feedback and it is comfortable to type on for extended periods of time you could also raise it to get a nice typing angle just like you can with the surface pro 7 and 7 plus it also has a multi-stage backlight which allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment and that's always good now, the touchpad is working well. It's a little bit undersized for my liking, although it is responsive. Two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth, and all the gestures work as you'd expect. Now, my unit is running the 11th gen Tiger Lake processor. It's the low powered version, which is the Core i7 1180G7 with integrated Iris XE graphics. Not quite as powerful as its bigger brother, which would be the 1185G7. So the numbers are not going to be quite as good, but I'm not expecting the top performance on this because they went with a quiet experience. You will notice the fan kick in, but it is extremely quiet and won't be a distraction to you. So they went for the quiet experience over the high performance experience, and that will be good, especially for the business traveler on the go. So you won't see the actual numbers be that great, although definitely good enough to do Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, consuming media, it all worked fine. Now, my review unit has 16 gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM that's soldered into the motherboard. There's no chance for you to upgrade that on your own. So make sure you get enough RAM for your needs. It also has 256 gigabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. I don't think that's user accessible either. I'm not sure if there's a way to get inside this laptop. So make sure you get enough storage for your needs when you check out. And speaking of that storage, here are the reads and writes that are included with that 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD drive. The 7320 detachable has a 40 watt hour battery and my initial testing so far is showing over 11 hours on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. Again, I need to do further testing, but you're looking at anywhere from eight to nine hours on what I call mixed use. But of course, your mileage may vary depending on the task at hand. So please keep that in mind. 
It has Wi-Fi 6 along with Bluetooth 5.1 and both so far working really great. Now it also has the optional 4G LTE. You can get it with a Qualcomm Snapdragon X20 LTE A modem. And that's great for the business traveler who needs an always on connection on the go. And that's going to help certainly with productivity. Now, of course, this is an option. It doesn't come standard. You will have to pay extra for that modem. And I didn't see any option for 5G, at least not yet. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, so far, I would say they're adequate, they're average at best. There are two side firing speakers, and I would say they get loud enough. But again, I think having a nice, good pair of headphones would enhance the audio experience than rather relying on those two speakers. I'll test them more in my upcoming full review to give you some more info. Okay, so far, 24 hours in, what do I think about the Dell Latitude 7320 detachable as a Surface Pro 7, 7 Plus alternative? I got to say, I really do like it, especially with that slim all metal design. I like its bright, vivid 13 inch display, really comfortable keyboard cover. And I love the fact that the pen stores and charges in the device. And speaking of the pen, working really well so far for taking notes, sketching out artwork. I like the dual Thunderbolt 4 ports. I like the option for the 4G LTE, although would be nice to have a 5G option. Who knows? Maybe that will be coming soon. And the decent performance, although not world-class performance, especially when they are going for a quiet experience with that low fan noise, which is really good. Now, the things I'm not crazy about, of course, is that there's no user upgradability. There's no SD card reader, and it can get expensive, although it is on par with the Surface Pro 7 Plus for business users. But no real deal breakers here so far, ladies and gentlemen. I have to do my full testing and I will bring you my full review coming very soon. So stay tuned. So what do you think about this bad boy, the 7320 detachable from the Latitude line? Uh, Dell sent this over and I'm actually pretty happy they did. You like? I like that two-tone finish here on this metal. Uh, thin, light, uh, versatile device, very similar, of course, to the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and 7 Plus, uh, very similar in a lot of regards. There are some differences, of course. Uh, really nice webcam on this. You got a front facing 5 megapixel 1080p webcam. You got an 8 megapixel world facing rear camera that has actually produced pretty nice video as well. Decent shots as well. Of course, it's not going to replace your high end smartphone in, in terms of the camera, but definitely handy to have this on a device like this. Uh, battery life is looking good so far, as I mentioned, with that 40 watt hour battery. I'm seeing 11 plus hours on my continuous web surfing test, eight to nine hours, I think, with mixed use. Again, I need to do further testing. As far as performance, again, like I said, they're going with a quiet performance here, very low fan noise, of course. Uh, that's good if you're a productivity person, a business user you want to keep it quiet. Uh, optional 4G LTE on this, of course, is great when you're on the go and you're on a business trip and you need to have that always on connection. This can certainly uh, give you that. Of course, that's optional. It's not standard. I don't know about 5G, as I mentioned. Hopefully that will be coming soon. Not user upgradable, but neither is most of these type of devices. Uh, user, The RAM is not user upgradable. The SSD is not user upgradable. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, all working well. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now it's not cheap, it is expensive, but like a lot of these business focused devices, uh, they will tend to buy these in bulk and we'll get a discount from Dell. So keep that in mind. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.